What's up guys and welcome to a very special episode of the Drift Games Vlog. We're here in a rental car warehouse in New York because we're here this weekend for the LZ party at Drift Week 5. It's been a long day. I started this morning 22 hours ago in Abu Dhabi. I was away for seven days. You might have seen on my social media I actually got engaged and I left Josh to do some videos for the week. Josh did a good job of keeping you guys all up to date but we've been waiting for this weekend. But it wasn't easy. The last couple of hours looked something like this. Mustang. Matches white hoodie, white shoes. Your shoes and your flexing, <laughs> flexing, boy. So we're flexing in the Mustang. We're gonna head two hours south towards English Town, which is where the event is. So enough talking. Let's get in the car, let's see the skyline from New York, and roll into New Jersey. Mustang. I got a bunch of babes. <laughs> That's a bit of a sight now, isn't it? Ruined by a massive pickup truck. Absolutely destroyed. Civic is absolutely smashed to pieces. Like that chassis down. Look at the rope holding the chassis <laughs> together. I say that scene. The back, back left <laughs> wheel isn't even facing the same direction as the back right wheel. <laughs> Gotta go to work, gotta go to work. Look at mode. I can't make out if the Mustang, is it on your door as well? The, the blue Mustang. Should it? No, we. That's very tacky. <laughs> Not a fan of that. <laughs> My Mustang dreams are ruined. Look at this rubbish. It, it, it doesn't look that cool. Shoe. In reality, it seems cool, but... Yeah, I'm no. not a fan of that. If you have that on your car, just stop. Just turn it off. It's awful. Okay, so... I've just done what have we done? 26 hours of traveling, maybe 26 hours. What? Four air... Five planes, four airports, two rental cars. Abu Dhabi to Dublin. Dublin to... Boston, Boston to New York, drive two and a half hours down to English Town. We're now here at the hotel. This is what, this is a Mustang. I was gonna say, this is, um, this is a drift car. Seriously. I don't think this is, this is a cop car. I, 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 I would say it's a drift car. There's a cage in it and a hydro, so I presume that's very cool. <laughs> Look at the windshield. <laughs> to protect the swerve. Little play that's on a, that, that's a drift play. Little play on words there, like that. Sideways sheriff. Drift oh, week five. There see? we go. And they've had to put the cover on the lights so it's not illegal. But then on the track they can turn them back on again. I like this. I would nearly do this with my Mustang. I think it looks very cool. Do it as a police car. <laughs> Protect to swerve. <laughs> Protect to swerve. Anyway, my brain is dead. We're gonna go into the hotel and check in. Uh, everybody's at the track. Tomorrow morning we're gonna go to the track. We're gonna go there early is the plan to check out all the cars because you guys will probably want to see all the cars are there. It's going to be way more cars than there was at the last drift week. So uh, we want to go check out all the stuff in the paddock when it's nice and quiet. Tomorrow I'm doing commentary on the LZ party and I, we're doing drift games at it, but I don't know what we're doing. So we have to figure all that out, but you can figure it all out with us tomorrow. So let's get the bags from our, not as cool as this Mustang. Ru rubbish Mustang. Rubbish Mustang. Uh, look at the height of this thing as well. Sorry. I don't know why I'm being so hard on it. It's just... And it's an EcoBoost, it's not even the V8. No. <laughs> we, we could have lied. <laughs> we could have lied and said, you could have dubbed in the uh, Right, let's go to bed. Um, I'm pretty shattered, but tomorrow we'll be pumped up early. We're going to check out the cars.
Trips like this would not be possible without our amazing partners at Drift Games, such as Link ECU. Check out the full range at linkecu.com. We run them in all of our drift cars and our street cars, and so do the best in the world of rally, drift, and drag racing. They've got an amazing range on their website, and applications suit almost everything, so check them out today. So, next day, English Town. I was here about six years ago. Really, really cool track. We're gonna be using two tracks for this event. One is like a open circuit for all the drift cars to use, and then we're gonna be using the Formula Drift layout, which is like the figure of eight at the stadium for the LZ Invitational later on, which I'm commentating on. But before all that kicks off, before the madness of this weekend kicks off, we wanna go, we just wanna go around the paddock and look at all the cool cars. There's literally cool cars everywhere. So we're gonna bring you for a spin. I would, I would honestly say there's 200 cars here, I would say. There's about 200 drift cars here, scattered, rigs, trucks. For you guys back home, maybe for you guys in America, not so special, but even the rigs, like look at the way they transport the cars. It's just That's insane. a trailer. That's not attached to a lorry or anything. That's the same size as a, um, what do they call it, a big truck. Yeah, well, we're gonna take a big walk around. We'll try and find the coolest stuff here. Nice or 32 skyline here. You know what the fun thing is? Such variety of cars, like this is a really nice place. One thing they do right over here is style. See, we're style boys. We like our drift cars looking as good as they go. Obviously, you're style boys. Jordans. White Jordans. Can we wear them over here? Can't wear them back home. They've already destroyed in Mandela Park. Nice 250Z. Like a take on the HKS. It's like a HKS. HKS fade. Like that. In the old, locked in for maybe a design down the line. This truck is the same size as a two story house. <laughs> an apartment smaller than that truck now to be fair <laughs> absolutely monstrous and the thing is that literally ev everywhere so you get taken in by the trucks oh, the trucks are nearly as impressive to me as the as the drift cars i mean imagine this was your just your casual tow vehicle Hang on a just, just go stand by that as a high comparison <laughs> you need a, you need that step ladder thing getting in like you know we put side steps on vans in ireland for no reason at all here you definitely need them look at this 15. Oh. Which way, which way do you get? All right, PS13. You know me, I love a PS13. Or a 240SX, as they call them here. There's a weird fade, it's like a fade up. Hang on a second. It's like a fade from here up, instead of a oh, long. Like a red, red up to pink. It's got like a silver carbon bottom. She's seen a little bit of action. Trash racing seats, very nice. And then of course, something you wouldn't see back home is, unless it was our shed. Corvette. It's got the rear carbon fenders. And then we got an old school Mustang, like a 90s Mustang. This S15 is lovely. Here man, rad. Jesus. That's the mad thing, like this, these cars like drove on the road like this. It's obviously their inspections are easier to get through than ours. That is how you S15 drift car, I think. Absolutely lovely. It's also windy today, we weren't expecting it to be windy. You're in a sh shorts and a t-shirt. Well, it's still like way hotter than back home, even if it's not hot here. And Boss Kid at S14? I like the Boss front. Some people love them, some people hate them. Let me know in the comments. Do you like the Boss front on the S14? I love it. A lot of people don't. Yeah, but you're, you're pretty much American. I'm pretty much American. You can't ignore this, can we? Our old favorite. I think he's asleep. <laughs> he's having a snooze. He's had a tough old journey. That's a, that's a long night there now, Jeffrey. That's a long night. You look inside there. I just love the so attention to detail In case here. you didn't see our Drift Week content, this is his drift car. So what this is, is a C6 Corvette. So one of those, one of C5. Just like yours. Just like mine. And then they put the truck body on top of it. So it's basically a Corvette chassis, suspension, everything like that. But then the truck put on top and it drifts really well. And this is what he tows it in. So this is pretty much the same thing again. This has the same running gear as this. So if a, some, a car breaks on the drift car, it takes it from the truck. <laughs> Have a, just a look at that for a setup of, for a drift car. Like this is your tow rig, and this is your drift car. That is an intense situation there. That's very cool. That's probably the coolest thing I've seen so far. More S bodies. Just look at this. Well, we are, Dave. I'm gonna say it's a Cresta, but I could be wrong. We've been at this too long to get this one again. Good. What model is this? Uh, Cressida. Cressida, I was so close. I said Cressida. <laughs> nice car, man. Thank you. 
Love this the is seat. the only one we got here in America. Wow, look we at didn't the get seats. Any, we didn't get any of the other cool ones. Well, the problem though, you're, you're better off because we have all the cool ones, but we can't tell any of them apart. Oh, We've yeah. got like no, six, I honestly can't 600 either. models of four door <laughs> Toyota. I was like, it's either a Cresta or a yeah. Cresta. It's really cool. Yeah. Nice car. Thank the cage, you. the roof rack. Yeah, it's a little beat up, but it's. It's been weathered. It's been like look, cool, it's cool. like three or four. It's got it's got character. Yeah, so. definitely. It has a lot of that. A little too much, maybe. It's very cool. I love it. well, listen, enjoy it today. Yeah, thank you. Have all. fun, man. Yeah. This thing is awesome. Three, two, six. Spoiler. Shotgun, shotgun exhaust. Look at this. Back to back. Two forties. No. Two forty SX. So this is we would never see these. These are the left hand drives. These originally came in the U.S. with a K series engine, so not a very good engine. And then they've obviously swapped them a lot to SR20s. Most of them are SR20 swapped at this stage. So the K, is it a K24D? Anyway, I'm pretty sure it is. It's not a very pop popular engine, but that was a bit of a lesson for you there. That was a little bit of a school lesson from a man that knows very little. <laughs> That's a good look. It's an SR. It sounds like an SR starting up. <laughs> I was about to say, what, by, it, by, by it not starting up? No. Sound of misery just, just fills the air. Always takes two or three tries. I was about to say the sound of misery is yeah. good from it straight away. Yeah. It never starts first drive. Never starts first time. Mine never starts at all. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is beautiful. That's really cool. I think we should uh, let me know in the comments. Should I put a livery on the red PS that I have? I'm, I'm really tempted to do something like this. Ouch. Not to hope. Are those under skirts? <laughs> Gonna stay on for the whole they weekend. Won't be on there. But the next time you see that car, there won't be one piece of arrow on it. Guys, doing filming stuff. Filming stuff. Just filming Those stuff. shoes are way too clean for drift week. <laughs> it's only the start of drift week. Well, I was gonna say, it's wear them here or wear them in Ireland, and they go last 20 shoes. minutes in Ireland. <laughs> These are clean shoes. Got the, got the, got the oh, fuzzy wow. Crocs. Got the fuzzy Crocs, man. That is the yeah. tire. That's, that's luxury right there. <laughs> oh yeah. Shout out to my girlfriend. You got drain holes when you dump coolant in them, it just comes right no, out. Oh no, no, it just sits in there. There's no drain. It's just, you know, it's just for looks. That's a flex now. <laughs> We're in the wrong attire yeah, all if, if he kicks the strap up into four high, yeah. things yeah, get stay, serious. We, yeah, we stay in four low though, so <laughs> the, my, my, my rig's ready to tow at all times. We're good to go. Good to go. This is lovely. So we were saying that back home, I have the only Corvette drift car in yeah. two countries. So okay. it's like, when I come here, it's like, huh, they're just drift absolutely cars. everywhere. One of the guys from Poland, he's like, I'm one of like three 350Zs in the whole country. I'm like, dude, you cannot throw a rock without hitting five 350Zs in the US at any drift event. <laughs> I'm just sitting there going, there's a Corvette, there's a Corvette, there's a Corvette, there's a Corvette. There's a Corvette yeah, mine's there's out getting, Corvette. yeah, the one Toby's driving is out getting gas right now, so there's another one kicking around. I mean, they're Corvette everywhere. Week. Yeah. It's Corvette week, it's not drift week, it's Corvette week. I'm not complaining. It's funny here because this is like one of the more exotic things here. This is an average Toyota sedan, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, they're still exotic enough. I used to yeah. have I have one until about a week ago, so I sold mine, and now this is making me nostalgic about so it. This one, come, come check the interior. So it's a three-four stroker. Three-four. Three four. Three, four. Definitely have a three-four. Yeah, stroker. a little bit of headwork. T fifty six Magnum. Uh, refinished all the dash panels. Oh, it's very clean. Yeah. Very Air conditioning, good. stereo. It's a tidy car. And then the engine bay. It looks like it's not too. I didn't overdo it. I'd like to tear it down, do some powder coat. You didn't it. overdo it with a three-four stroker. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's funny though, because like, what, what's overdoing it then? Like nobody would like. It doesn't look that exotic under here. I mean, it's no, it's yeah. I like this. You just cross this out and put three-four on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's good. Yeah, OEM yeah. plus. You got to get it correct. It's black black marker. Yeah, it just makes me mad that the Corvette is like a factory race car has trouble staying cool, and you got to add a bunch of coolers. And this thing, you just beat the ever living piss yeah, out of it. Very reliable. And they just work. It's, it's just irritating. Well, early days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait to jinx it. Just, right. just don't say anything yet. Sorry. Are you getting blinded right now? Just, where's my sunglasses? Hold on. Well, Here well. we go. Here we go. Oh my god, the camera's almost exposed. There's some Bluetooth intercooling going on there. <laughs> that I, think is a... I think that's similar enough to mine. That's a cranking, so it's either 1.6, 1.8, you can't tell the difference. That'd be a similar setup to mine. Yeah. It's nice. Way it's very go. bright. And then you can't even see the inside because I think that's what we need in our cars. We need the chrome tints. More tints. All the tints. Jay from Precision Tint Graphics, we're coming for you. Chrome tint everything. Oh, he's having a great time. This is, I think, 350Z perfection right now. That is a very nice look for 350Z. I like the vents on the bonnet. Like, and I don't have to say hood because we're not in earshot of anyone here. I'm just going to say bonnet. Oh, we very, would get corrected. Like, what, what, what do you mean? What do you mean guys? the bonnet? Um, 
That is a lovely three. Uh, 350 Z's can look very well if they're done right, and that is done right. That's really done right. This hot boy S14 over here. Okay, so I actually recognise this car, Dave. I'm not sure if you can recognise it. <laughs> so this is the car that fellow Irishman Dean Carney gave away in one of his competitions and we never thought we'd see it but here it is and it looks yeah, absolutely it is. unbelievable. Walking over I actually thought it looks like it and then I saw the carnage sticker on the windscreen that and that confirms it is. Real. Obviously. And it's an RB. This is how I would do an S14. I think that's almost perfect. Genuine 326 spoiler painted out. You don't see many of those. No. It looks fantastic. This is the thumbnail car, Josh. What do you think? Let's get the thumbnail. Thumbnail's done. More S14 goodness. More S body goodness. More teasers. This is like a nice S body morning for me. I, I struggle to get them everywhere I go, and here it's just S bodies everywhere. I love it. It's a really nice one. Is this a 14 with an ORB? Or no? No, 2J. 2JZ. 2JZ. BBTI. Wow. Uh, G3770. AM Infinity on a E85. With the Kevlar. Rocker, uh, rocker cover. Yeah, <laughs> just uh, a I have a, cover. I have a deal with the shop that does hydro dipping, so oh, they just really, they just dipped really it for me. Sick. This is a nice car. Uh, what I love about here is that you guys do the nice builds, but you still have a bit of nice style in there as well. Good work. This is my first car. It's your first ever car. Yes, I got it when I was 18, 17. Wow. And uh, it, I used to drive to school in it, and then slowly progressed in the drift thing more and more. And then before you know it, I couldn't really keep it on the road anymore, and I just. <laughs> been all out with it since. I love this thing. I love this thing. Well, thank you so much. We're looking forward to seeing your rip out there later on. Oh, pray for my transmission. Yeah. It's got some issues. <laughs> His name's Mikey Walsh, so he's from, he's from Cork. <laughs> he's the most Irish name. Hell yeah. He, he even he said W-A-L. I know, I know the spelling. <laughs> no. All you can see is green in the background and then the multicolored car. A lot of pain. Got a nice chop, as they say in America. Nice chop. Well, yours is gonna have that chop. Mine it? will have that chop very soon. More MX5 game. More MX5 game. Nice, nice. nice. D1 Ladies League. I mean, I think you could enter that one too, Josh. Could you? Why did it have to have the Ladies League? I'm not saying it's. Head? I'm not saying it's stereotypical. I didn't put the visor on there. <laughs> but I'm just saying. This is a nice car, though. I, I genuinely think that's actually a Firefly bumper. That's the same finish and everything on it. So a lot of Corvettes, right? A lot of American cars, but we have two Japanese heroes here in what must be the most gangster wheeled FC I've ever seen. Look at this thing, it's unbelievable. Hey guys, how's it going? I was just saying that um, this is a pretty aggressive wheel fitment for a Corex 7 FC. What are these, like 13 J's of VSKFs on the back? Yes, what? 13, 12 and a half? I think they're 12 and a half. 12. Big boys. Seven inch lip. And this is running an LS? Yep, yep. That's LS Surprisingly getting rid of the road race, surprises me. She's an old twin cam, lads. An old twin cam. This pulls back home. She's an old trooner booter. <laughs> a, a, bo a booter. A booter. It's a booter. <laughs> That's lovely. This is a nice. It's cool to see them still out here doing their thing. It's nice, isn't it? I don't, and know, like, don't know what's under the bonnet, but. Quite conventional drift car, not oh. quite. This is like. Hang I'm, on a second, there's a intercooler, which, which would an suggest. An SOR, maybe? Could be an SOR. Come okay. back. You good? The car, that's Jimmy Oaks' car, that's the car that inspired my red uh, VS13. As you can see, very similar, right? Definitely the car that I inspired. It's almost, it's almost identical, but the color. Some serious cars here, which is making me pretty hyped about the event, to be honest. So we're here with Adam. Adam, thanks for having us over for this event. You and Aaron reached out to come over and do a little bit of announcing for your... Sorry, these new little, like, just fun little competitions that are a bit of fun for everybody. <laughs> I'm soaked, dude. Like, it's like, it's going to be a good time. This is the first competition I've announced that doesn't matter a whole lot except yeah. for fun, which is brilliant. Yeah. And it's like just a different vibe, more of kind of fun, different cars. It's not just all about winning, it's about having a good time. And this, like, the paddock here is brilliant. The cars are crazy. Oh, Oh yeah? Show me. <laughs> wow. That is gone. That's pretty good. <laughs> so you've got the S15 this weekend? Yeah. 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 It's working good? That's <laughs> uh, our life. Yeah, that should be good. Are you doing the competition today? Is there a competition? I think there is a competition. I'm kind of confused. I'm not going to lie. I think we're doing like games and like some call outs, yeah. but it's not really anything formal, right? Oh, that's much better for we're, me. I don't we're know. also confused we're what's going on. We were told, be here at this time and we'll figure it out when we get there. And I was yeah. like, that sounds good to me. I think like Aaron was like, hey, look, we're going to have fun. All the Drift Week guys are going to be there and let's promote it and we'll have a bunch of people come out and we'll just have a good time. And we're like, yep. 
Yep. Sounds good. That's all the detail we need. Yep. <laughs> Whatever else, it's going to be a good time. Exactly. Well, we'll catch up with you later on. I know you're getting the all cars yeah. ready. So, yeah, sounds uh, good. Have fun out Great there. See you guys. We hope we see you later on. Appreciate it, man. This is TJ Hunt's car. This is like pretty mad. This is like all the famous YouTubers are all at the one event with a bunch of really cool cars, really cool people. It's kind of like the vibe. It's like the vibe you want at a drift event. I really, really like it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some snaps, take some montage footage because i got to go do a driver's meeting or something in a little while. Look at this thing. Oh, <laughs> just just when you want to just stop. Just when I want to stop. The windows in the car are still here. Oh. It's still a girl's car. Well, yeah, it's got a lady's windscreen yeah. on. Oh, and speaking of, I mean, not that MX-5s are girls' cars, and I don't know why anyone would get that impression. I mean, generally, they're in quite manly colors. Oh, no, wait. The, you know what? It's people very, very comfortable with their sexuality, so they can just have a have girl's to be, car. Have pink. to be. Was it a girl driving? No. It was a very manly man with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't even grow a beard. <laughs> All right, well, everyone's getting ready. We're going to go over and try and check out some of the pro cars. Again, we were called over to do, I'm doing an announcing at this event, but I have no idea exactly what, but we're just going to keep breaking this up into little parts so you guys get to see everything we see. So yeah, let's go check out some more cars. You're taller than I thought. So are you. Impressive. <laughs> Impressive. So this everyone is, says. Everyone says we're taller than life. Yeah, totally. I thought you were taller. Our shade must make us look small. But I kind of well, look not as tall as yeah. you. This is Jose from FDF who reached out to us when we were building the Corvette last year. Jeez, it seems like longer than that. So he's drifting. Oh, this is your FD car, right? Yeah. So I have the S14 here and I have my C6 Corvette, which is currently transporting tires for us, but to oh, and from right. the tire machine. So we, we hear rumors that this is the loudest car in FD. That's what we are. That's what we heard. The loudest, the rowdiest, whatever you want to call it. This is the only way to make an LS like different, right? This thing looks amazing. What's different about oh, it? You put it's shock. Yeah. Oh my God. Jesus. Okay, so we're obviously European. So when it comes to V8s, we go, ah, a V8. V8. And then we stop because we have no idea. Well, it's an LS3. So what, what is this? Well, you're fortunate. The engine builder, uh, Josh here, owner of Fab Mac Industries, he actually came to this event so we could, this is the third year on this engine package. Okay. Uh, to much surprise, this has worked perfectly for three years. Despite the way that I drive it, you could plug in a little clip there of like 30 seconds of limiter, but... Yeah, that's Basically, it's a 454 LSX block, which with some adjustment was made into a 440 cubic inch. So what um, is high compression, 7.9-ish. 7.9. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of ugga dugga. Yeah. It's a lot of ugga dugga. And then it's like a front mount, engine mount on the side. So front, I right? mean, everything in here, like that you can see engine plates, headers, uh, the manifolds for the water system. And then Josh did the oiling setup for the dry sump. Um, Everything on this car, though, is built by FDF, which is myself, so you're going to see that literally everywhere. It's funny because we obviously have your your stuff, and it yeah. looks like it's expanded through the car, the same kind of style. Exactly, it's it's yeah. really cool. Exactly. This is an amazing machine. I can't wait to see it rip today. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, we'll definitely hear it. Oh, yeah, we yeah, were yeah, saying that here. most of the cars here on idle would fail our noise regulations on full throttle in Ireland. Oh, so, <laughs> so we're going to be deaf for the rest of the day. We'll love you to meet you guys. Yeah, we'll yeah. see you guys around. We're going to check out some more cars and we'll catch up with you in a bit. Good to meet you. We'll see you around. Duarte's car. You might have seen that on our tour of Drift HQ last week. Very tidy car. Thought about it on the my red PS13 of doing the, the 180 front, doing the one via front. Let me know what you guys think. Thinking it might well, just... Well, then you could have both. Then I could have both, a, sort of a 180 and a PS. Let me know what you think in the comments. More more examples over here. Kooky kid. I could also see one in the Origin. Labo. This green one's nice, right? Yeah. Do you look good with the 180 front? I know I've just finished the car, but like, it's an option. Look at this guy. Looks like it has hey. a... Hey! I'm hurting, I'm hurting. Looks like yeah. he hasn't slept in three weeks. How long yeah. have you been up? Well, I slept, so I've been up since about eight something this morning, I went to sleep at three. But every day it's been 11, 12, two, three, not good. And I didn't finish the car, I had issues. Had some issues. Well, you said, I, I saw your car coming in again. Oh yeah, I built a yellow 
we will watch it. Yeah, M240, standalone, blah, blah, blah. I tried to build it, attempted to. <laughs> it's like the most ambitious, weak build of all time. No. <laughs> the thing is, like, no hate. My body shop friend was like, I got the body working at a week, and then it took like three weeks, and I was like, well, now I have a little bit less time. And then one little thing goes wrong, like, now I have a little less time. Like, this has to go smooth as butter. I was like, if anything goes wrong, it's not gonna work. Then the guys at Link are super helpful, but I know you guys are big Link guys. Yeah. They were like, get another scope, not just a link one to verify X, Y, and Z. Otherwise, we're stuck here right now. And I'm like, <laughs> you have to crop that out. But, good <laughs> but yeah, so I was like, that was when we threw the towel, got this ready. We'll see it a few. Yeah, that, that's car building 101. That's car. <laughs> that's you know what? It's nice to hear other people have the same experience as we do. We just tried to do this, and then everything went wrong. So this is where I'm going to be doing my commentary this weekend. This is the Formula Drift track. As you can see, this was a drag strip that went straight through. And then they made it into like a figure of eight, which is actually really cool. It's like a proper stadium, isn't it? For drift? Yeah, no, it's. I, this is almost like um, what we did years ago with Dunleary. It's like Dunleary. But like but a stadium bigger. version of it. It's very cool. It's very cool. I'd love to come actually see FD here, but this is where I'll be. They're setting it up now. I mean, announcing on. I have no idea. I don't know if it's a competition. I thought it was a competition. Then Adam Elzi said it's not a competition. Who knows what it's going to be? I'm excited for it. It's going to be a fun weekend. Really enjoyed. To check it out all the cars in the paddock. This is just the start of it. Just so we give you guys a little update on what's going on, and I think this is a good way. You gotta see a load of the cool cars here. There's still more to come. We'll probably keep updating you over the weekend. I'm gonna try and bang as many videos out as possible. So stay tuned to Drift Games channel. Hit the subscribe button if you like this video, and for the rest of the adventure, we'll talk to you guys on the next one.